Hey, what's up, everyone? We are gonna talk. What do we got? We got the Brandon Belt tournament starts tomorrow. We're on Cedar Creek. Haven't been to Cedar Creek. Well, I think I came last year. No, two years ago. Two years ago, I was here. I've been here maybe now five or six times. I feel like now we had two days of practice. I don't know if I've ever practiced for two days here. Uh, maybe I have. I feel like I know the lake a lot better now. Or I, I'm starting to remember and see things. I've gone some places I haven't ever been, like here. Uh, probably because our house we're staying at. Russell got some sweet deal right over there. When we first got here, one of those deals. One of those deals where you have a plan, you go right over there, first spot within like five casts, get a big one. I had like three bites in the first five minutes. It was on. Russell was getting bit. Um, it kind of slowed. I wouldn't say it slowed down. I think it was still going. I just got out of there because I was like, hey, this is going to be a deal. So there's, there's a bit of a shad spawn. I don't think that's any mystery because it's warm and there's a bunch of shad here. The shad spawn usually at times, and I've talked about the shad spawn. Shad spawn is really, really strange. Shad spawn can last an hour, and and like once it's over with, like you don't ever get another bite. I looked up and and I went to different places, so it was I, I didn't know if it was like the spot or they had stopped, and then all of a sudden we started getting bit, and we were trying to figure out, and this is important. I've talked about this. We we're trying to figure out if they were on beds or like the fish we were catching like where they were and everything i was like we, we couldn't figure it out we i think we were wrong and i think the shad spawn just lasts for a while um like you can catch them for a while like way up into the into the day so i was going okay this is this isn't bad because i would say most shad spawns aren't like that it's usually really quick and then it's over with uh that might all change though because like I said, it was strange too, because it was a cold, cold night. So we didn't even think the shad spawn was gonna be going on. Um, of course, we got some warmer nights and now the carp are going nuts right now, nuts. So that's becoming an issue. Uh, oh, it's been two beautiful days, beautiful days. Tomorrow, everyone I, everyone I see on the water says the same thing. He's like, you ready for tomorrow? Ready for that wind to blow? I'm like, yeah, I know, wind's gonna blow. It's supposed to blow like howl tomorrow. Um, I don't know, like, we've prepared for that, so I think we're gonna be okay. Um, we've got some sneaky stuff. I've got, it, we'll probably show this. I can show practice. Problem is, have I caught a fish yet? Sort of. I sort of caught a fish, not on purpose. Well, I didn't hook her. How about that? But I saw her. I will say this day one. I've got some videos on my phone day one. I Three things happened to me on day one. I hope one of them happens to me in the tournament. It hadn't happened to me today I, I swear I swear if it happened if I did that Three times all year, it'd be incredible, but it happened three times yesterday and uh, Three or four like I can't remember anyways. I gotta look up I, I, the reason I'm bringing this up, this Brandon Belt deal, I've talked about it. I'm not going to bore y'all with it. Y'all know it's 50 grand for first, 20 for second, 10 for third. There's some bonuses in there. I got a bonus for Skeeter. Russell's got a bonus for Vexus. So we're talking another 6,500 to 10,000 uh, just in that. And then they have some other, other contingencies. Good chance you could maybe win over 60 grand. Now, I bring that up because of the little tournament tournament anglers association they had on Lanier. there's two things so i brought that up the other day uh i don't know what chris johnston won like i don't i didn't look at the payouts so i'm interested to see what he won however i think they had and i don't want to i hate doing this because i'm not looking maybe i should look it up but i want to say it was a five thousand dollar entry fee i kind of heard that it was a five thousand. Make sure when you're jumping, uh, five thousand dollar entry fee. I, I'm interested to see what the payout was, because ours is a thousand. And so, 
It's a thousand dollar entry fee, or is it twelve hundred? Whatever. It's less than fifteen hundred. I think it might be twelve hundred, or something like that. And we're gonna and we're fishing for fifty grand, and twenty grand for second, and ten for third. Because I know a lot of those, you know, you pay five grand, and they might pay like five grand down, down. But I'm like, you lost money. You might have won five grand, but you spent five grand and the entry fee and then some other stuff. I'm not knocking the tournament. That's not what I'm doing. Um, I'm just talking about this, like how good the Brandon Belt deal is. Like we're so spoiled down here in Texas and half these guys in Texas will drive all over the country to go to go fish things when they got something better right here. All right, listen, I can't make people do things the right way or the dumb way or the maybe i'm doing it the dumb way i don't know it doesn't, doesn't seem dumb to me fish for the most money in the entire country with the smallest amount of entry fee to make that money it, it's pretty incredible and brandon bell's done a phenomenal job we have a good lakes we're like guys are going to crush on them tomorrow and the next day so it's not like we're going to bad lakes this is the other thing so Obviously, I did my little uh, my little April Fool's video the other day. 99% of everyone got it. There's some guys that did not get it. Of course, they probably didn't watch all the way through like I told them to. Uh, I do not have... I might have one spinning rod out there. I don't know if I'll ever use it. The Tournament Anglers Association tournament killed me. Like, I laughed. I laughed so hard. And here's why. And this is the last I'm gonna get into. So if you read the comments, you know what everyone starts saying? Oh well, yeah. Look at that. They're not using forward-facing sonar, but they're but they're sight fishing. Same thing. And then it was on. And oh, and then it was this whole. And, and y'all know my, my bed fishing video I did the other day. I have a couple people comment on it. A couple, uh, quite a, you know, a couple people put thumbs down. They sure didn't want to comment because there was nothing to comment on like they knew that it, it, it's funny they're like i don't know how to argue this because i'm gonna be wrong so i'll just throw a thumbs down on them because i don't like it i don't know why i don't like it my feelings are hurt and i don't it just frustrates them to no end but what, what i what i laughed about was i had like one comment in there that i, that I responded to but not on my not on mine but the post about that tournament not that i did that they did people were talking about the sight fishing deal oh uh, you know sight fishing like of course they're not using this and some guy's dragging a worm down the bank that's just as bad as forward facing sonar this is what i've come the conclusion to you can't win you can't win with these people i don't know who these people are and look, I'm not saying forward-facing sonar is that great. I've always said sight fishing isn't fun to watch either. But it wasn't, I don't know if it wasn't about that they didn't like watching it, but the complaining about catching fish, now it's like, now you got people out there going, well, you can't fish for him this way, and this way is the wrong way too. And, and I'm like, wait a minute, how are we supposed to catch fish? It seems like everything we want to do, someone's complaining about how we do it and that it's wrong. That's the wrong way to catch them. Golly, you can't win with some of these people. So I'm going to do a video on this. Oh, what did this one guy say? You're taking advantage of them when they're vulnerable. <laughs> and then a lot of people said, oh, it's sight fishing. It's easy. Bub, come down here. Come down here and get in one of these little sight fishing derbies. Let's see how you roll. See how it goes. You y'all might not want that. We freaking we freaking throw down down here. I'm just telling you. So, but what I will say is is that you you got these guys talking about vulnerability, and I'm, I kind of commented back like, yeah, it's just like when we go out there and throw a topwater when they're schooling. I'm like, we're taking advantage of those poor fish trying to eat and we trick them with our lifelike baits. And I'm like, yeah, that's what fishing is. We're trying to take advantage of things, of them feeding, 
and we're trying to put baits out there that look like the baits they're eating. <laughs> like, yeah, it's all vulnerable. I want the most vulnerable fish in the world. I want some dumb one out there swimming around going, hey, I'm hungry, throw something in front of me. Sorry, you might be out there trying to catch the hardest fish in the world, not me. I want the dumb ones. You give me the dumb ones, I'll catch them all day long. One just blew up. Look, there's a dumb one blowing up. I'm gonna take advantage of him while he's trying to eat, eat a shad over there or something. God, leave these people you can't win. Can't win with them. Either way, we're gonna make some videos. Um, for those guys, I'm gonna go buy some eight inch curly tail rubber worms, uh, some 15 pound mono, pistol grip, uh, Abu Garcia, what were they used to be? Those 45, I, I don't know, I don't even see them anymore. Not gonna get no Abu Garcia. The mo, whatever they were, the y'all know what I'm talking about. I used to have some. Um, get that little sinker and just a little low hook and just drag a worm around because I think that's the well, not in the springtime. You can't do it any in the spring at all because they might be on beds. So uh, you know, I, I gotta I gotta wait till what june or something i don't know you gotta wait till june throw my little wor rubber worm out there and drag it around that's apparently the right way to fish i, I think they'll let me throw a spinner bait maybe a crankbait too maybe those three things and maybe a top water everything else apparently is just is not right anymore someone's going to complain that we're doing something wrong I mean, these people Ugh. all right i gotta get in i gotta re-rig or rig up, put some big line on. Big line, I don't care. I'm going big line, big baits, big hooks, big rod. Go after some, maybe some big fish here and there. All right, stay tuned. Updates, hopefully, coming tomorrow. See y'all.